part is um, you need to choose some animal that you're going to uh, look at for the next two weeks. And I chose a coyote and I posted my um, images on the discussion board. So you guys should do that too. I have a link to the discussion board in my most recent assignment. Assignment? Announcement. See, I told you guys, I'm a little not quite operating on four, all four cylinders today. So as I was listening to your fantastic presentations, I was cutting, I cut up a box uh, that I got in the mail and I have all these awesome cardboard parts. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I start an animal head. And um, I'm doing it a little differently this time because I always try to do things differently because I'm kind of weird like that. I'm gonna build the uh, basically where the animal head hits my shoulders. And, um, and that's where you can start. And that's gonna give you so much information about the width using the basic elements of, or the basic technique of sighting, once you determine the width, you should be able to determine the height by, uh, you know, dividing it visually um, across, you know, how many pencils fit across, and then it goes, how many, how many times, how many, how many times can I put the width of my animal head into the height of the animal head? Okay, and you have to look at your resource material. You have to look at your images to figure this out because you need to get the proportions right. The proportions are almost more important than the details. It's like if you see an animal at a distance and you don't see all the details, you can recognize what it is because of proportions. That's how powerful they are. So by looking at, um, I've cut it up because I decided I want the head to come down a little bit more rather than sit on the top of my shoulders where it's gonna wobble a lot. So I cut out some shoulders and then, um, and then I'm gonna use some more pieces. And this is really rough. The beginning, it's gonna be really rough because you can always change stuff. Um, that's the fun thing about this assignment is it's just, you're just working with cardboard. So you can, um, Tear it apart, start over. Let's see, how am I doing this? Something like this. So I'm gonna start like this. And I'm looking very carefully at my resource images. You guys all need to post your animal head resource images on the, um, on the discussion board by the end of the day, okay? so that I know what everybody's doing. Who knows, maybe I've got, you know, some example images that can help you, like maybe a student has worked on that one before. So now I have another shoulder piece. So I've noticed the coyote heads are actually thinner than I think, or thinner than I've done them before. You know, they're kind of skinny animals. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing on both sides. There is, while every animal head is different, there is a degree of symmetry. So when you're doing, for example, the ears, you wanna do them at the same time. Or if you're doing the eyes, you wanna do them at the same time. And I'll get, I'll give you guys some pointers on how to do those things. But what I'm doing now is I'm forming the collar. Is this going to work if I just come together like that? Is that going to be too small? You know, I think that's just right, actually. That looks pretty good to me. But just to be safe, I'm going to use a third piece as like, put it together. Now you guys remember the hot glue is hot. So there's a degree of symmetry in animals. Most animals, I think a flounder is possibly asymmetrical. And of course when animals get beat up like people, you know, we get old, we become a little less symmetrical. 
Some people might have a longer leg or an eye that's a little different, but it's still pretty, you know. All right, let's see what this looks like. Getting there, okay. So now I'm gonna do the back. And I'm still kind of not sure what's happening because I, I know I can change things. Usually I have to just see what's going on first. Make the shape, look at it, see if I like it, and then make adjustments. Now, is this gonna work like that or is that, I think that's almost too narrow, but let me see. I'm not supposed to really do that much moving around. It's hard to say. Is that gonna connect? I guess I'm just gonna connect it. If I don't like it, you know what I can do? I can cut it. I just wanna show you guys these two steps for now and then I'll make some videos tomorrow when I'm feeling a little better. I'm not supposed to be moving around that much. I think this is too small, but let's see. I think eventually it's gonna to get too tight around my head. So I'm gonna cut this. like that and then I'm gonna add another piece now another thing I've been doing which maybe you didn't see because I was doing it while you were presenting is I like to scrunch up the cardboard because then it makes it easier to manipulate and um, easier for it to be kind of round because animals aren't aren't really square although there is I forget what it is it's a wombat or something. There's this animal that poops square. Have you heard of this? Serious. We learned about it last time we did this project. <laughs> there is an animal. It might be a wombat. I'm not sure. Um, it poops square. And I am not kidding. It really does. I think this is good. So as you can see, it's kind of a, a, a process of searching, trial and error until you get where you need to get. Till you get to where you feel like it's right. That feels, that feels like a coyote right there, it does. I had a coyote when we were having the snowstorm, walked right across my porch. Yep, it was a little one too, and it was very skinny, it kind of looked a little shaggy. It's so interesting how coyotes are different they're so different. Some of them look almost like wolves. They look like domesticated dogs, um, like beautiful. And others look like they've been just, you know, they're surviving. Okay, I think this is gonna be better. Yeah, I think that'll fit. Okay. So then, once you have your collar, you can start determining what, um, what the other dimensions are. For instance, the height. Yeah. And I remember one of my tips is I work on the back of the head and then I move forward because the front of the head is harder. So I like to, um, you know, be careful. So right now it's kind of really not, not much to it. So I also cut strips. And these I'm going to use and I'm going to kind of draw lines in space that illustrate the height of my animal head. Now for this, I think I'm actually going to look at my, um, I'm going to, I don't know if I can, can I look here? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm recording this dumb thing. No, I don't want that. I want to look at the discussion board so that I can, did I not publish this yet? Oh, I 